Okay, here's a little update on our magnet motor that we were making. Uh, here you can see we have our stator plate and inside that is a uh, long magnet, a uh, long flat one, it's uh, 50 millimetres long, 20 millimetres wide and uh, 2 millimetres thick. There's uh, another one inside that carrier there. And on our rotor, rotors at the moment um, we have just four magnets, that's all we needed to do to test this and you can see that we have our north out <coughs> oh hello I've got one there that's not which it was so that would mean oh there we go I was too close to the north face of this one so north out there North out there, no problem. North there and north there, so we're right. And um, of course our stator magnet here is north one side and south the other side. So the whole idea was um, this stator magnet here, the Neo, would repel one magnet but attract the other one thus neutralizing the effect and if we adjust this just right we can actually get it to draw the magnets into the magnet into our stator magnet um, <clears throat> then what would happen is that would just uh, follow through because um, one side would be repelling one of the magnets and the other side would be attracting it so it should have moved through the gate unaffected um, and of course once it got past a certain point our two rotor magnets repel each other and the cycle was supposed to keep on going but although there was supposed to be no sticky spot there we have a very big sticky spot as soon as you break that gate it continues on to the next cycle but that sticky spot there is the problem as it's always been and although our primary test showed that it wasn't there now that we have everything on bearings and uh, we're not using Mr Hand to try and judge the forces we can clearly see that those forces the sticky spot there is still there so this one was a non-winner the knocking you're hearing is just the backlash in the gears. I didn't want to mesh them in too tight, so there's a little bit of play there. You can see the left one there is attracted to our stator magnet, and just at that point it is pushed away, and it can keep going, but gets stuck at the sticky point, or the sticky spot that wasn't supposed to be there, but has showed up now we're not using Mr. Hand to see where that sticky spot isn't or is. Um, instead the machine is showing us ourselves that it is still there. <coughs> so um, this one as per all other magnet motors so far is a no-goer unfortunately. So it's um, Quite amazing how we couldn't feel that sticky spot with our hands but the machine is showing us clearly it is there. All is not lost, um, these were not a waste of time. We're going to do something else with our printed rotors here. You'll see I have another one here. Um, which is going to go like so. There's one more on the printer now being made up which will go there. We're going to put a coil in the middle and um, have a steel laminated core there and we're going to make a uh, quad rotor pulse motor and see how that turns out so stay tuned for that but as far as the uh, 
or magnet motor goes, well, it doesn't go. Because that sticky spot that wasn't there before is now there. Well, it was there, we just couldn't feel it. Now we're using decent magnets. Um, it is making itself showing. And uh, so, no hurrah. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next video where um, we'll have all our four rotors in position and have a little look see at how it's going to work as a pulse motor and the advantages that may be there using um, four rotors with uh, four sets of magnets on them.